Welcome back, this is Reich. Last time we did the Nigo Arcadia Shrine, and today we are doing the next part of the end game, which I believe is titled the Neo Arcadia Tower. And there's a different intro text if you just go to the mission via the trans server instead of talking to CL to start the mission. And it's a little humorous, a little sad, but either way. So you want to just charge saber to start this, and you want your shield boomerang an element that isn't ice. Because if you do not, if you have an element that isn't ice, you can one hit kill these things without reflecting anything towards them. So it's kind of important, but like, see, like you can't do that with the ice element. And there you go. That's pretty much all you need the different element for. Like it really it makes very little difference overall. And there we go. And yeah, these guys occasionally they'll be primed and ready to fire at you right when you go up. Sometimes they aren't. Like these guys are ready. So sometimes you can rush him, sometimes you can't. And like these guy, that guy right there, he's not ready, so I'm just gonna start slashing him. And to get the first cyber elf, you have to re-kill that guy down there. So you can just hold down like that. I found out you can your old aerial attack, which did more damage than the the spinny one that you unlock, while it has less range and all that. If you remember right, it does more damage. And sometimes that's more that I would say more helpful. It is helpful to have the more damage here and here you want to play patiently because it's very easy to mess up here so what you want to do is just slash that guy in bits and then jump up on here jump over here and here's where you're gonna have to play the timing game oh that was a hard game wasn't it it's not always gonna be in your favor right there so you, you gotta be careful here I just wait on the wall pretty much until that elevator comes over and then you just run over here and you're already on like the last half you're on, that was like part one of the level and here's part two and I'm trying my best to like save time but seal cannons are very dumb and no one likes them. They didn't they weren't very popular as kids as baby seals because the parents got clubbed and they don't know what to do and they don't know how they never got raised right because they had two gay seal daddies and here we are back at the boss. So the boss here is very tough and since we're S ranking he has an ability like all the other bosses which I've never actually explained before and you're too big to be a slow gate loss. It's kind of like humorous but it's kind of weird that you get like some anthropomorphic slug ass boss. You don't want to just directly run up to this guy and slash him. You want to wait until he's like the in between mode between attacks but like I was trying to say because you're, you're in S ranker mode he has a attack that makes it to where you don't want to just directly confront him because he'll just punch you. And here you just want to play it safe. Don't even risk fighting because when they split, the split makes it very risky to try to go and take damage. He might do the punch if I like wait around in close range. And yeah, he splits after each hit and you should be forming back anytime soon now. Yeah. And you always just play it safe and it's a pretty easy boss fight. And the time limit in this level is very short. I can't remember if I mentioned that already, but oh god I missed. And the time limit is actually two and a half minutes. I'm probably slightly over it already. But let's see, I should be nearing it. You shouldn't miss much for time. I, if you just dash around up the elevators like I was doing, you should save a lot of time. And this next hit should kill him. There we go. And that's the end of that boss. Pretty simple, right? Mission accomplished, mission completed, whatever. Barack Obama, Hussein getting the terrorists. S rank 96. We actually lost like two points for that and two points for damage. So, yeah, it's a very, very easy mission compared to the last one to S rank. And CL has a few things to say. It's like storyline, by the way. Like, what made you come here? And it's like, I'm sorry. It's, I, she admits that she created X. And so that's like, oh, well, don't apologize. That's my fault. He's, see, Zero, he's taking this mature route. He's looking to the intent behind her actions. And choose a thing, um, none of that. We want to go in here. We ain't talking to UCL. Today, if you've noticed, we've gotten every cyber elf but two. So here's me getting them. The desert one. This one is probably the most devious one, and you're like, how, where is it? Because if you look in my list, I'm missing, how the hell are you, I'm missing two, and it's just two nurses. Filled in all the hackers and all the animals. First nurse, literally, right here. It's kind of lame, but... That's what they did. And the other one, we're just gonna have to journey a bit, so hold on a minute. And welcome back. You remember this area from the factory level with the bombs? Well, there was a cyber elf that I legitimately missed, and that is completely my fault on this one. You're supposed to just literally just go over here right before the boss, and ta-da! And that's how you get the cyber elf. And there's also a little cool thing here, is that if you go to the boss area, like that's like the area right before the boss, you just get a ton of crystals! And yeah, so I'll see all y'all next time.